what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel um i know it's been a while since i posted the video i've been very busy lately and had time to record anything um but i had this requested to continue these um tutorial series on how to um make your own server for 5m so here's the server we worked on in the previous um video where we got it running and it's just the base server uh, what i'm going to do today is i'm going to show you how to um put in just basic scripts and cars um, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through here and find a just a simple script um, on and how to put it in I'll show you how to do that so let's go through here and find something that looks here we go there's the engine one I'll just put the engine one in uh, engine toggle what this is is you type in the slash engine in your server and it turns your engine on um, or you turn slash engine it turns your engine off yeah or vice versa either way um, so this is just a simple script that I'll show you how to put in and uh, it's the same process for pretty much all the scripts. Um, so I'll go ahead and just download this <clears throat> and we'll put it in. Minimize that. All right. So where is your engine toggle? Wherever it's at. There it is. All right. So we got our engine toggle here and where you put your scripts is, um, you do it in the resources folder. Um, so let's go ahead and open our resources folder. <clears throat> As you see, this is just the base um, 5M server. So we're gonna go ahead and put this engine toggle. When you open it up, you have server LUA, client LUA, and resource LUA. Um, what you gotta do is drag this file into your resources folder inside of your server. And then you open it up, and what the resource is, um, this is what the server reads. Um, so if you delete this, the server won't read the file, and it won't load into your game, your uh, server, and it won't be there. Um, so you need this resource LUA in your, in your um, script and as you see here drag this up here it has loaded the script server script LUA and then the client script LUA which is these two folders right here this is the client code and then we have the server code which the server code is the what you type in for the chat message all right so that is in there now the engine toggle and you're not done it, you can't just run your server now what you got to do is go back to your main server screen and once you add, whenever you add any scripts at all, you must type the folder name, which is engine toggle, and it's case sensitive and space sensitive and all that kind of thing. Um, so we're going to type just right here, just like you see it. And you're going to go to sit MP server YML, right click it. You should have oh, with Notepad++, we went over that last video. You should already have this, so I'm assuming you already have it. Open that up, and you're going to have auto start resources. Anytime you add any kind of script, whether it be a new vehicle, um, a new script, um, anything like that, always put your, if you want it to auto start, that is, always put it in your auto start resources YML. So the name of that folder was capital E engine and then a toggle. And like I said, it's case sensitive and space sensitive. So however it's typed in on the folder in the resources must be just like this in your um, YML. So type it in there and this just tells the server to uh, look for that file and read it. And if there's no um, resource LUA in there, it won't read it and it won't load it into your server. So that must be there. All right, so we'll go ahead and save this and we can close out of that. And now we have a simple, very simple um, code, just a engine toggle uh, type in slash engine. Like I said, it turns it on and off. And we use this for role play server. Like um, if we're pulling somebody over and we want them to turn their engine off, um, cause maybe they're drunk or and they're doing code five, whatever it may be. Um, do slash engine it turns it off test slash engine turns it on we'll just say turn your engine off and it's just simple that way they don't got to go into their trainer and turn it on and off etc all right so now we have that in there um, that's done you can run your server now go into your server type slash engine and it will do its thing the next requested part of this would be how to install vehicles um, vehicles can be challenging um, it just depends on how good they are um, for 5M, some vehicles don't work very well in 5M. So I'm gonna go in here and I'll leave the link for this car. Uh, we'll go ahead and download this. This is just a 2014 uh, non-ELS vehicle. Um, if you have ELS in your server, you can get ELS cars. I don't use ELS in my server. We did previously, it just caused me problems. Uh, so let's go ahead and download this right here. Let's download it and once it downloads, we'll open it up and we'll put it into our server. All right, so now we have this and of course it's kind of just like lspdfr you know you got all these models and everything like that 
Now installing it is a lot different than OSP DFR. It's not anywhere near the same because you don't use open IV to do it. Um, so we have the car variations beta and then we have the model itself which optimized for placeholder old one. So in our main server here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to resources and then we're gonna go into here, make a new folder and name it whatever you want to name it. Um, so for, I'll just name it Police Explorer. Police Explorer. All right, and we'll open it up and we'll put another folder in here. This is gonna be called Stream. If I can type, name that folder Stream inside of your Police Explorer folder you just made. And this is where your vehicle files are going to go. So we'll go name this police hold one, drag all these files into the stream folder inside of your police explorer folder. All right, we're not done yet. Um, what I'll do, what you do next is you need that, that little resource folder like this or file right here into the same folder, uh, the police explorer. Because um, if you didn't have a resource folder file, it won't read it and won't load the car. So instead of making a new resource folder, all that kind of file, God dang file. All you got to do is just copy this and then go into your police explorer and paste it in here. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to delete the server script, server all the way, delete all that. Um, you can you can leave the manifest version if you wish. It's not really a big deal if you do or you don't. Okay, so wherever that went, I don't know what I just did with the download. There it is. No. Oh, God, too many downloads. Uh, there it is. All right. So this car came with a car variations meta. Drag the car variations meta into here just like that. Open your resources. Oh, why didn't this save? I forgot to save it. So make sure this server script AUA and yada 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 is deleted. Make sure you save it like I didn't do. Save it. You're gonna press enter and enter again. And then you're gonna press type in whoops, too much enters. Type in files. And you're gonna have this little weird shaped thing it's a uh, if you press shift and the uh, open bracket that's what it's going to look like and you're going to press enter enter tab and you're going to press the little pre type in that and then vehicles actually no it's not vehicles it's car variations so we're going to type in car variations so car variations dot meta okay meet <laughs> meta and then your little thing there and then no comma nothing like that because you put a comma if you're going to put a comma or if you top in another car coals or or vehicles meta but if you put a comma there and nothing's after it it'll break it and won't load it all right so all we need is car variation so enter why did that do that enter and then put the little closed weird shape thingy there <coughs> oh excuse me <coughs> all right now we're going to type in tab once. Actually, you don't need a tab. Sorry. Type in capitals. Vehicle. Vehicle underscore. Variation. I cannot type. Variation underscore file. Oh, yeah. You need the little thing there and then another one and then type in don't need caps just like we did here we'll copy this and paste it and then boom that's done and that's all you got to do with that and we'll save it now we got to go back to our cfx server and whatever you named your file please explore which is what we named ours we'll go to edit with notepad Oh, oh shit. I don't know what I just did. Close that out. No, I don't want to save it. Edit with notepad. And we're going to press enter. And police X floor. And boom, you are done. Save it. And then go into your server and spawn whatever it is you put in. Uh, resources, police explorer, stream, and then police old one is what it's going to spawn as. All right, that is pretty much how you do scripts and vehicles. It's um, It gets complicated once you start putting skins and uh, um, editing the car variations, metas, and all that kind of thing. Um, it gets pretty complicated. 
but this is the basics on how to do that um, now you can get in there with an engine toggle script and a police explorer script and it's pretty much the same for all scripts so if you want to put in any, any kind of other script um, all you got to do is download the script drag it in there like I did with this add it to your city MP YML like we did with the engine toggle here and then when you want to add another vehicle same thing we did here um, you can just put your stream folder car variations resource type it in how we did here and boom you're done load your server and you'll be good uh, one thing you need to know is so say we go into our resources in our police explorer and we decide to go in and uh, maybe add a skin or change the spawn name etc um, what you got to do is whenever you change once you've got into your game and you've loaded it before and you have played with it a little while and you go well I don't like this skin I want something different you change the skin before you load back into your server you need to go in the cache HTTP mail files and then you'll delete your cache um, because if you don't then what it's going to do is load the car um, without the skin that you put in because it's loading the cache file but, all right that is pretty much how you do cars and scripts um, thanks for watching and if you want to continue more tutorials please let me know and we'll see you on the next video.